Hello, folks. This is David Hurley of Top5Programs.com, bringing you the seventh in my Leads Leap video training series. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at how to set up a landing page with an opt-in form built into it on the Leads Leap platform. So let's hop over and log in to the dashboard. Here we are. To set up a page, uh, we scroll down until we come remarkably to the tool section called Page Builder, and we click Page Manager. OK, let's add a new campaign. Uh, it's a campaign for the super list, so we call it super list one. There we go. New campaign added. Next, add a new page to start. So here is the new campaign, super list. Now, if you click on the link, you'll see that there is nothing to see. <laughs> you will see that there is nothing to see. No active page in this campaign. Let's click add a new page to start. And so we now need to launch the editor. OK. And here is a range of uh, template options for us to use. Uh, let's just find something nice and easy. We want one of these. So we, we want an opt-in page. We could build a thank you page, a review page, a sales page, or a product download page. But for this video, we're going to make uh, an opt-in page so that we can use the um, opt-in the email list that I built in the previous video. So we just need to find a page that we like. This one is a popular one, isn't it? Let's use this one. Now, there's a whole bunch of changes you can make to the page. Uh, what we need to do next, however, is choose a list manager. And this is how we link our landing page to the autoresponder. Now, you could use a third party uh, list manager or you could opt not to have an opt in form at all. But we will use a Sendsteed Leads Leap list manager. And we need to get the list ID. So here we go. Here is the super list. So that's one we want. So the super list list ID is now in. And if you want to redirect people to a thank you page, you can enter that URL in here. Uh, in an upcoming video, I will show you how to make a thank you page and how to do that. Uh, we're not going to bother with that for the purposes of this video. We just want to get our basic landing page set up. So we've got our list in here. And we now move on to uh, the design of the landing page itself. You can make, you can make lots of um, adjustments to the design. For example, you could change the color of that tab at the top. Let's change it to a nice red color. That's pretty bad, isn't it? And uh, then we can come down. So you can control through this panel here, each part that you see up here. Let's, let's change that to something a bit more, a bit easier to work with. There we go. So for example, if you want to change this text here, um, you can just click on the text or you can scroll down to the appropriate box here. So click on the text and this is the box where you would make that adjustment. So let's say um, opt in R. Learn the secrets of a super list, if that makes any sense. R. OK, we don't really want it to go down onto a second line, so we can adjust the size. There we are. 
that's a bit too small. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not building a page. I'm just showing you how to build a page. Each one of these things here, you can um, tweak, adjust, delete, change the size of, and so on. We find a whole bunch of other icons. Instead of a tick, we might want a pointy finger. There we are. That's nice, isn't it? And so on. You can just repeat it down here as you go. Where's that gone? If you get lost, you just come back to the element you're working with. Yeah. There. So icon, pointy finger, click on the check, icon, pointy finger, and so on. Again, you can make it bold if you want to. Oh, you'd have to, you'd have to, uh, there we go, bold out the text. One moment, that didn't work. Make the text bold. There we are. Change the color of the text. Make it red. There. And so on. If you want to get rid of this icon here, we've got image gallery. You could replace it with some other image. This will probably be a disaster. Here we go. That might be a bit nicer. There. Peeping lady. OK, and when you're satisfied with everything, uh, we might just want to put um, a different text on there. Learn the super secrets. And we'll change that background color. Let's make that nice and bright and orange. There we are. That's better. OK, and so, so on and so forth. You can tweak things like so. Let's save it. Have a quick preview. OK. And so now, let's just refresh this page. We have our super list one. What happens if we click on the link now? Here it is loading. No active page in this campaign. So we have to activate this page. You click on here and it becomes active. So now let's get rid of them so we get some new pages up. So now if we uh, click on the link, we should see our nice new page. And let's even opt in. Right. Learn the super secrets. Will it opt me in? Thank you. We have sent a verification link to herohurl at hotmail.com. OK, so what I'll do is hop over to my um, email account and see if I have received that verification email. And here is the verification email. And we have also received the first email in the series. Welcome to my super list. Isn't that nice? And there is my signature added as well. OK, so that, in short, is how you set up a landing page and embed your, um, your autoresponder into that page. Now, to promote the page, you need this link here and a nice extra feature Let's say you wanted to advertise or promote this page on um, Traffic G, for example, the, uh, the uh, Traffic Exchange. You can, you can put a code snippet in here like Traffic G or simply TG, and you share this complete link on the Traffic G website, for example, and 
um, it will track where traffic is coming from and you will then be able to track the sources of your traffic uh, inside the page manager. Okay, so that's how to set up uh, a landing page on the Leads Leap platform and embed your autoresponder opt-in form into it. Hope that's helpful. That's all from me for now. David Hurley of top5programs.com. Until the next exciting Leads Leap training video.